democracy. Ours is not the first by George good government to arise on the world stage. There have been several. Rome, Spain, and Greece, and China, and each enjoyed about 150 years at its zenith. That's just about our time in the new world. And then each decayed away. Not one of them was ever destroyed by anybody else's marching legions. Each rotted away, morally, socially, culturally, economically, simultaneously. You know, one of the most cruel paradoxes of history is this. Because each was a good government, it bore bountiful fruit. When it bore bountiful fruit, the people got fat. When they got fat, they got lazy. When they got lazy, they began to want to absolve themselves of personal responsibility and turn over to government to do for them things which traditionally they had been doing for themselves. First, there appears to be nothing wrong asking government to perform some extra service for you, but if you ask government for extra services, government, in order to perform its increasing function, has to get bigger, right? And as government gets bigger, in order to support its increasing size, it has to what? Tax the individual more, so the individual gets littler. And to collect the increased taxes requires more tax collectors, so the government gets bigger, and in order to pay the additional tax collectors, it has to tax the individual more, so the government gets bigger, the individual gets littler, and the government gets bigger, the individual gets littler, until the government is all powerful, the individual is hardly anything at all, good, good, good government, for a bountiful fruit, when it bore bountiful fruit, the people got fat, when they got fat, they got lazy, when they got lazy, they began to want to absolve themselves of personal responsibility and turn over to government, to do for them, things which traditionally they had been doing for themselves, some believe that the need is for a vigorous, strong man to arise on the scene, to regulate and regiment the affairs of men. Yet history tells us there have been several such. Once upon a time, there was a nation great and powerful and good. She was suffering from the aftermath of war, from the depression. Then came upon the scene a leader, an idealist, self-confident, intolerant of criticism. Wisely, he limited his early activities to combating the financial depression. Nobody could argue with that. But in a while, he began to regulate business and establish new rules to govern commerce and finance. Some of them in diametrical disagreement with the God-made laws of supply and demand, but anybody who disagreed with those new rules was promptly fired. The new leader saw that under the old system of free enterprise, landlords prospered, so he levied new taxes to take away their profits and destroy what he called the monopoly of capital. To please laborers, he controlled prices. To win the favor of the farmers, he gave them loans and subsidies. The national debt mounted alarmingly. Whenever anybody tried to tell him that governments, even as people, can go broke, when they spend beyond their income, he said they just didn't understand deficit finance. What do you say? Did he build on rock or on sand? I say on sand. For you see, this was the story of Emperor Su Tung Po, who led China to its doom. More than a thousand years ago. Because each was a good government, for a bountiful fruit. When it bore bountiful fruit, the people got fed. They got lazy. When they got lazy, they began to want to absolve themselves of personal responsibility and turn over to government to do for them things which traditionally they had been doing for themselves. That if Uncle Sam ever does get whipped, here too, it will have been an inside job. It was internal decay, it was not external attack that destroyed the Roman Empire. Starting about 146 BC, internal conditions in Rome were characterized by a welter of class wars and conflicts, street brawls, corrupt governors, lack of personal integrity and moral responsibility, conflicts, street brawls, corrupt governors, lack of personal